Oh, baby, it's midnight. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I done fucked you good, too. Are you thinking you're keep me out? <laughs> I done fucked up. I did this. You tried that. You copy me. That's my sweat. That's my style. Give it back. Three words. I said trick. Hey creeps, and welcome back to my channel. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. And that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? Okay, um, you guys, I got me some Chick-fil-A. But the thing that I'm mad about is I forgot to tell them barbecue sauce. So I was going to use my barbecue sauce downstairs, but everything has THC in it. 250 milligrams, 200 milligrams, 50 milligrams. I'm not trying to get high, so y'all can go get high, get your wine, get whatever. We are winding down on Pride Month, which is, you know, Pride every month. But um, the month set aside, we winding down. So um, somebody sent me another Pride movie, so I hope it's good. The last one was really nice. So, um, yeah, get your stuff, get, get whatever, get your family, roll up your butt. Uh, I'm going to say my grace by myself, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to watch this movie, all right? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, wow, my green's great. I hope my green ain't messing up. This is so ghetto. Uh. Oh, thunder. What's that song? Oh, I can't think of that song. Ooh. Oh, that's a mimosa, ain't it? 
Dragon Crown? Oh, she fancy. Something about you is familiar. I can't quite pinpoint what it is. Uh oh. Maybe we met in a past life. Okay, you know. You believe in stuff like that? She knows. Shit, he might just be looking at your future. <laughs> is that right? Shit, I don't know, Sky. I just might be. <laughs> This is so ratchet. I don't know. I guess we believe in a lot of things. Past lives. Different dimensions. So let's be honest. It's hard to see the future when I... I barely understand the past. Need that past in the past. What does that mean? Nothing. You don't need another past. Don't worry about it. I hope y'all got a lot going on. Something right. All Black Lives Matter, right? Y'all better promo. Girl, what you keep picking for? So, you usually go home with strangers? So do you want complete transparency? Or some bullshit answer because we might not see each other again once the sun comes up. And girl, so you are spending the night. What if I want to see you again? I'll take the transparency. Well, your answer is no. I think. Uh-oh. You think. Kinder Joy, a young tree. God damn it! Hmm. Uh oh. Hey, girl, fall out. I got into a really bad car accident two years ago. I almost died. <laughs> right, take a sip. And I lost all of my memory. Yeah. So the me that I know now has never gone home with a stranger. Mm, was you even gay? The other me? I'm not too sure about her. My family says that I'm different now. You want gay? I'm better. My mom told me that the old me was damaged, but that this new me is a blessing. Mm. I'm not too sure I should take that. Girl, like a blessing, huh? Wow, Sky. So do you like remember anything? No. Nothing. Oh my god, that's her girlfriend. Okay. Everything was ruined in the crash. That her girlfriend and she don't remember. Nothing. All of my photos that I had that could have helped me remember. All of them. Gone. Just like that. Something going on. I, I deleted all of my social media right before. I woke up and didn't even know who my mom was. Oh, what if that's who hit her? Uber, it's a lie. Wow, well, sorry. I this don't even go. know. I, I just, I'm sorry. I, how, what was that like for you? Scary. Mm. To look in the mirror. You know nothing. Mm -hmm. To see someone for the first time. And it's me. Mm. The discomfort. Mm. The feeling my own skin mm. for the first time. Mm. My hair. Mm. Listening to my voice, mm. my laugh, mm. feelings that I never, never could quite understand. Mm. 
I found myself more frustrated. You're crying. And crying. Right. A lot. Questioning if death was better. Because you know nothing. And learning what everything was. Oh, it fucking sucked. That's who hit you. But you want to know what I really like? You know who? Having sex with the first time. Ooh. Tasting. Mmm. Feeling. Oh, God. Receiving. Mmm. I could do that shit every day. Fuck it. Warm skin against mine. Mmm. Hairs standing tall on my arm as I finish the sheets right before I climax. Mm. <sighs> Woo. But I'm gonna stop there. Right. I don't wanna fuck. I wanna take you to your room. Man, fuck, fuck you. you. What the fuck? Seven, who are you? What? This is my favorite breakfast. <laughs> Days to go together. And she don't remember her. She got to fall in love with her all over again. Can I kiss you? She hurt me 
and I hurt her. Mm. What's she doing? No! Look, Sky. I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but uh -huh. this is it's not a place I really want to go to right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No bad. Well, I mean, it sounds like you love her and you miss her. I'm sorry, I was... Come on, tell me. We've known each other before tonight. What the fuck does that mean? Wait, what? Why are you mad? Why wouldn't you just say that? Oh my god. Wait, you just pretended not to know me just to get me home or something? Girl! Come on! Oh, you're fucking sick! Keep up, dummy! Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Sky, stop. No, please, just let me explain. What the fuck is there to explain? Why are you even mad? Did you seduced me here? No way you knew me prior to my accident. Tyler, no. When I saw you, I got scared. You walked up to me at the bar, and it was like I had you back. So why not just say we knew each other? Because your mom said it was best if you didn't know who I was. What the fuck does that mean? How the fuck do you know my mom? Seven. Either start making sense or I'm leaving. Come on, you know. She was just talking. For seven years. We did it. We broke up the night of the accident. When I got to the hospital, your mom was just cursing me out. She called security. I tried for months. Your sister told me it was best if you didn't relive our breakup. But I swear, I swear I tried, Sky. I sent letters. Your mom sent them all back. Why are you telling her this? You she told me. If I really loved you. I'd stay away. But I would just leave you alone. I lost the love of my life that night. And I tried every day to see your face. To hear your voice. Mm. So when I say I panic, Skylar, I'm sorry. So why not just say that, Seven? Shut the fuck. You saw me in the bar. Oh, because there you were. My entire fucking insides broke. Yes, stupid. I went to pay my tab and leave. 
and then you came up to me. Imagine that, like you're. And said hi. Somebody she was in and love the same with. Thing you did all those years back. And it took me right back there. I couldn't hurt you again, so I pretended like we were strangers. I didn't think you'd end up here, right? In my house. But I would have given anything to be back with you again. Come on, Seven. And I know that's wrong with you. But I needed you, Sky. And okay. Faith led you back to me. Don't be a bitch. I don't even. I don't even know what to say. I just. I just feel. I feel sick. Really? You bitch! All these commercials! Why did we even break up? Now you wanna know shit. Why the fuck you wanna know and shit? Why was it so bad that my mom didn't want you to come back? I agree with your mom on this one, Sky. I think it's better to just not know everything. You have a new life now. I don't wanna go kicking up old trauma. I have a right to know my fucking life, Seven. Okay, bitch. Everyone has obviously been keeping shit from me. As, so what happened? That's out of, you know. Why did we break up? You cheated on me, Sky. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. And then I went and did something fucking stupid. What you do, girl? You tried for months to get me back. What you do? But I was just so hurt. Yeah. Seven years? So I went to a bar that I knew you'd be at. And I made out with your friend right in front of you. Ooh. And you pulled me into the bathroom and I told you I was done. And I never wanted to see your face again. Ooh. Then what happened? You left mad and you crashed. You left. Crying. You went home and packed up all your shit. And I stayed at the bar. I realized that my ego was punishing you for a space I created. I didn't want to spend my life without you. So I rushed home. And by the time I got there to tell you I was sorry you were gone, mm. you had already packed your things. Mm. I'll never forgive myself. That's what they say, don't go to sleep. I just angry. remember calling your sister. Yeah. And she was yelling at me, screaming, saying how she was on the phone with you when you got into your accident. Mm. I got to the hospital and your mom just started hitting me and told me how she was gonna lose her daughter and it was all my fault. So she called security and they they pulled me out. I tried again and again. I swear, Sky, I didn't leave the hospital. I stayed in my car for days. Your sister seen me. She told me you were brain dead. Mm. And that I should never come back. So they blamed you. And she the one that cheated. It wasn't cheated. until I seen your best friend some time later that she told me you lost your memory. And the family thought it was best if you didn't know who I was. Come on. This is too much. Yeah. I swear, Sky. When I seen you, I was leaving. Why would you even tell me? I didn't mean to hurt you. Why did I cheat? <sighs> Ooh. 
worked a lot, trying to get my career off the ground. That's when they do it. I gave up on me. That's when my person cheated on me. On us. I was focused though, you were focused. I just, Stop I loving. stopped loving on you. Ah! That's what they said I did. spent years asking you to save us. But I wouldn't listen. Mm. I was comfortable. Mm -hmm. And I knew you wouldn't leave. Mm. And we stopped having sex and you started expressing how you needed me to show up. So you cheated. Mm. And honestly, I don't even blame mm -hmm. you. It was a cry for help. Ooh. You threw your tantrum. Yeah, I threw mine. And then I threw mine. Oh my God. It was like, the night you cheated, I was, I was waiting for it to happen. Yes, like you already knew. I already knew. Ah! You came home and you were crying. Telling me that it was a mistake. It was a mistake and you were sorry. But I had already packed my things. I was just, I was hurt. You cheated on me and. You mad at yourself I knew too. Enough, I knew I broke your heart that night. Cause you tried for months to make us work. He tried so hard. But I was hurt. And I wanted you to feel how I felt. Ooh, yes. Oh my God. I was stupid and none of that was worth it. Mm -hmm. Skyler, please. Oh, wow. Oh, wow.
Everything's beautiful. So pure. So majestic. It's the kind of love that I crave every day. Mm. Knowing I probably don't even deserve it. But yeah, the kind of love that they tell you doesn't even exist. Right. The kind of love that, that doesn't even leave you the same without me. We had the kind of love that was too good to be true and never made anybody else good enough. Man, Sky, we had a powerful love. Mm. Not one day to leave. We had the kind of love that souls travel lifetimes. Mm. So what changed for you? I had trauma and anger that I took out on our relationship. A lack of confidence in myself, in my career. You kept telling me to get a therapist, to find my passion. But back then, everything just felt like an attack. Right. I just, I felt so alone. Ah! You did everything to make me feel like I was the world. Oh my God. I couldn't love you, Sky. Because I couldn't love myself. And that made you love me even harder, harder. and that scared the fuck out of me. Yes! The harder you loved me, the less I wanted us, because I just, I didn't feel like I deserved you. Yes! Oh my God! It wasn't until the accident that I actually took your advice. I went and got help. My career took off. I loved you so much. I just didn't know who I was. <laughs> he loved me so hard, Skyler. I don't know what I'm doing. It's okay. I'm so angry with you. It's okay. It's okay. It's like I want to say, fuck you. Fuck you for not telling me. And then sleeping with me. I get you now, Skylar. And at the same time, I want to know more. Right. I want to know why you felt so good. Yeah. And why I'm so scared. Yeah, it feels so safe with you. Because you love her. I'm sorry, baby. Y'all really, oh no. You can't call me that. You don't get to. she's coming from she cheated because she really wasn't <sighs> I made your favorite tea Remember this day.
You do? because I was in a relationship like that where um, I was just wanting so much. I was working at Kroger, I was working at Starbucks, and I was dating somebody. It's so funny, we dated for like, what, six, seven years? I think it was seven. Oh my God. And I was just so focused on making my money, trying to get to where I want to be in life, and I was just focused. And my lover had told me, they, you know, I caught them they didn't I don't know if they cheated but I caught them on an app or whatever talking to people telling them good morning how's your day I want to travel the world I want to do this I'm like you never tell me that stuff what the fuck and he was just like you were so busy you didn't have time for me no more when I first met you you loved me and you gave me time you gave me affection and I did and then I just stopped because I was so busy but I didn't stop loving him I cared but it's like I was so focused on me and then like I was taking my stress and anger out on him but at the time see, I didn't know this but I was taking my anger out on him like it was you know he was just wanting to know are you okay how's your day why haven't you caught me and I'm just like I'm calling you what the fuck I'm busy you don't understand I'm trying to do this I'm trying to do that da, 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 da. and it was pushing him away but then he was trying to love me hard to show that I do love you I'm not trying to do this so now he's confused and then I'm over here like, dang, now he's loving me harder and I'm just like, I don't want to hurt him. And it was just a lot when it was really, it was my fault. And, um, oh my gosh. This helped me see what happened with my relationship. And then I was, he was trying, I was, um, trying to get him back. And he was just like, no, they got in an argument. It's crazy. And I was the only person ever that I've ever wanted to marry. And I've never wanted to marry nobody since then, ever. That's the only person, well, it's two people, but, but he was the first that I've ever wanted to like just marry and be with for the rest of my life. And I've never wanted to be with nobody for the rest of my life. Like now, I don't even believe in love. I don't, you know, I just, I'm so like, I don't want to say damaged, but I'm so like, I've been through so many disappointments and hurts that I just don't believe it's out there. I, I know people say it's going to come, take your time, da, da, da. And maybe I could be too hard on people. And I know I'm hard on people, but I guess I just don't want to feel that type of hurt again. Like I've been cheated on recently and stuff, but that it, it hurts. But I wasn't in love with these people because I made sure I didn't fall in love with these people. If that makes any sense. I don't know. But I do want to be in love. I do want to love somebody. I do want to spend my life with somebody. But at the way this world looks, I don't think that's ever going to happen. But okay, that was a good movie. Like I always say, God only made one you. If you don't be you, then nobody else will. And until then, love yourself. Be yourself. And love others. Be aware of other people's feelings. And not just your own. Cue the music. Be the G-E-M-I-N-I. Be the one.